Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Haley, and this channel is Haley's Soapery. Today we are going to be doing the second soap of my summer collection. Today's soap is going to be a low top soap. Um, it is going, its name is Lavender Field. I'm using an lavender fragrance oil and a lavender essential oil blend. I'm also using a stencil for the first time. So if you'd like to follow me on my soaping journey, please hit the like and subscribe button. We are learning here. I've only been soaping for a couple of months, so we will go through, hopefully, all my soaps work out they have so far. Um, my social media account is linked below as well, so you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where I'll also be uploading content. So I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get soaping. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another soaping video. Today we are going to be doing the second soap from the summer collection. This one here is going to be Lavender Field. So I am basing this one as I'm going to be using a lavender fragrance and to me it is a summery kind of scent that for me. So in here I have got my oils and my butter. Now I do need to add my sodium lactate, so it won't be a moment. Okay, so I've just added my sodium lactate in here and I will be also adding in my organic certified coconut cream. I add this to all my soaps. I like it because it gives it like a creaminess um, and I quite enjoy the same as I add Tussle silk to my lye solution. So before I do anything, I need to add in my coconut cream. So this one here is going to be, um, so I'm going to try and do a layer at the bottom and like sculpt it out. So my lovely partner has 3D printed me a cake stencil so I will show you that when I get closer so first of all I'm just going ahead of myself but I just need to incorporate this before I can do anything make sure you've got your safety goggles on or glasses on all right and I'll just give this a quick blitz to incorporate everything Okay, so now that I have just blended and combined the coconut cream and the lactate, uh, sodium lactate, I can never get that right the first time round. Oh. I am now going to add in my lye solution. I'm just going to give this a quick blend to just pass emulsion or light dredge. Light trace. Okay, now, so, so as I said before, I am going to do a layer at the bottom, a sculpted layer. So, to start with, the color I'm going to be doing is so. I'm going to be using the Magic Violet Mica from Heirloom. If my camera will focus. So I'm using a little bit of this and I've mixed it with a little bit of the Amethyst Mica from Aussie Soap Supply. So Ameth this one here has a slight more like a blue tinge. So I wanted to add it together just to get like a if you can see like a nice deep purple color so i'll do this first so i'm going to pour off a little bit so hopefully that should be enough just to give us a little bit of 
for the bottom for a sculpted layer. So I'm just going to quickly mix this up. So I did mix my colorants with the batch oils. So I find it, it distributes ev easier or evenly at the start if you do do that. And I, I'm pretty sure the manufacturers do have notes on there. That's how it's supposed to, how you're supposed to actually use the mica. So the oils, um, so the fragrance actually that, that I'm using today is a blend of essential oils and a little bit of the so the essential oils are the just a lavender essential oil and blending it with a little bit of the australian lavender fragrance just because i didn't have quite enough of the essential oil fragrance so i'll just pour a little bit in oh actually i'm missing my kaolin clay Gonna mix this kaolin clay into the fragrance in the essential oil blend. I'm just gonna give this a quick blend just to combine the fragrance oil and the color. So I'm just going to quickly pour this into my mold. So this one here is actually a restock of my soaps and I thought I'd just change the design up. Last time I had done um, just a hanger swirl but this time I'm, I thought oh, I'd do like a, try and do a sculpted bottom with an in the pot swell on top just to make things a little bit more interesting. So this is my little scraper that my partner has made me. So let's see, this will work. I just want to combine the rest of this. Um, if I was thinking ahead, I could have just used that one, but no, I have created myself more washing up. Of course, but anyway. So in this one here, I'm going to go white, and in this one here, I have just got the um, Magic Violet Mica from Heirloom in here. I am going to add titanium dioxide into this one here, 
as well just because I'm aiming for more of like a violet color so we'll quickly split these off this one a stir. Get my titanium ready. And let's get this a quick blitz. here add the remainder of my fragrance oil and I just give it a quick mix just to make sure all that kale and clay is distributed I love the smell of lavender well I say this about all my suits but oh. We start turn this way, that one the other way. Quickly give this a bang just to spread it out. So this one here is going to be one of my artisan soaps for the spring collection. So not everyone likes the frosted soaps. Um, obviously the frosted soaps are a bit more expensive so you cover everyone. I do um, artisan soaps as well. do a mica drizzle on top just so I'm going to swirl this so I'm adding the gold mica with a little bit of olive oil
So to finish it off, so that's this well and to finish it off I'm gonna top it off with some forget-me-not botanicals I'm gonna overdo it because half of them fall off when you go to cut I'm just gonna spritz it with um, rubbing alcohol Ashing. And this is the Lavender Fields soap. And I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, here's the close up of the Lavender Field. Smells amazing. Can't wait to see it cut the next day. I know I always say that, but I really want to see how that stencil turned out. Um, I know that sometimes it takes a lot of practice to get it right and make it look nice and neat, but I'm going to let this set up for 24 hours and we will be back tomorrow for the cut. Thank you.